in Mexico. Uh, I came to this country when I was nine after my both parents passed away. We came to this country undocumented in 1980. Uh, and, uh, but I was fortunate to have a really tight family of siblings that we uh, worked together to survive. What has really truly driven me throughout my, my time is, is to try to, to drum, demonstrate the realities of people that there's actually a lot of ingenuity that comes with living in poverty because people struggle just to make ends meet and they do that by being resource, resourceful. I, I did that, my family did that. And we just want to like, you know, you know, validate that, lift that up and, and, and give people credit, you know, give them credit for what they're doing. And so, and, and that's exactly what we're doing with the Mission Asset Fund is that we're, you know, we, we are recognizing this you know, uh, people's activity of coming together to lend and save money together. And we're saying like, that's actually beautiful. If you think about people come together just by the trust, by their bonds, by, by their social capital, by their relationships and building community with such a practice. That's just, just a beautiful thing that we should lift up and think about and, and, and try to replicate. And so we're trying to, you know, uh, uh, validate that, you know, by, by way of our programs. But, but the drivers has always been, it's like, you know, we're here. We're real, we're human beings, we're children of God, just like everybody else, and we want to be part of, uh, of the American exp you know, experience. So uh, th that's really how I've, I've thought about the, the, you know, the, the common thread in all of my life. You know, so I got the call of MacArthur Foundation. That was actually in my office, and they were, wanted to congratulate me. And, and at that point, I realized, oh, it's that call. And, and then I remember thinking that you know, time just sort of like stretched a little bit. It was really an award for my peers, for my colleagues, people that are in this work that, that, that said, yeah, you know, that guy, you know, that's the guy. Without Mission Asset Fund, I wouldn't have had my first loan that had gotten me my car, my second loan um, that helped me with my immigration application, and my third, fourth, fifth loan that is helping me today to save money and spread the word. Um, so I'm really, really grateful for Mission Asset Fund. I'm really proud. It's, it's helped me a lot. It's also in my community, which it's, a, it's even more powerful because there aren't a lot of institutions that carry to, to where, the community, where they stay in the communities. And this one does carry to my community and I can connect with them in a level in which I don't think I will be able to connect with other financial institutions such as banks. I'm a product of all my experiences. You know, and one of those formidable experiences in my life, I had, you know, was by uh, being a part of uh, UC Davis and being part of the student activists, you know, uh, community, by being president of Mecha, by leading, you know, marches and rallies, by participating in a six-day hunger strike in front of, you know, Morak Hall, and so they, that shaped me for who I was thinking and, and, and solidifying my belief that that you know, really we should think about our community as a source of strength and then lifting that up. So I did find that at UC Davis and I was thankful that I had that opportunity or in that that really did shape and form you know, me for who I am today.